Hey guys, this is a quick setup tutorial. So we're gonna get started right now. Here on the side, I'm gonna show you where you have to charge this from. So here on the side, you guys will see all these connections. And this one right here, that's where you're supposed to charge this up. And that's the very first thing you guys wanted to do in order to set this up. I'm gonna show you how you place this on your keyboard. There's nothing to actually tap or attach or anything like that. You guys can just slide it on and it just slides on like so. It does have magnets, so it makes it really easy for you to do that. And you guys will notice that it keeps steady. You guys can only open it up up to a certain point, okay? You guys can close it up and just treat it like a regular laptop. And that's how it looks if you guys have it with your keyboard attached all the whole time. Now, do you have to use it like that? No, and that's why this is a two for one, right? To detach, all you guys have to do is pull it and that's it. Just to make it easier for ourselves in setting this whole thing up, we're gonna put it up there again. So the power button is right here on the top, right here. Here's the volume. So just hold on to it, and this will start up. As you turn it on, you guys will see Acer plus this loading circle. So just let it run. It's gonna take just a couple of seconds until it's done loading. All right guys, so at this point you guys should see this, hello. Now you guys can select English or French. It will give you other choices. Choose language, so choose English already. It's gonna tell me from where, so I can choose Canada or from wherever you guys want. So you can go down using that or your arrows on your keyboard. Arrows on your keyboard might be a little bit better. It depends what you guys are doing. So we're gonna choose US. We're gonna choose US, US, region. Same deal, you guys can choose anything you guys want. We're gonna go all the way down until we see United States. I'm gonna click on there. And we're gonna hit next. All right guys, so you guys just have to accept. Again, you guys can use your trackpad or just use your finger to tap on things. Your Wi-Fi connection. Obviously, you guys will see a different set of Wi-Fi networks right here. So choose your own, type in your password, and then just go to the next step. It's gonna take a little bit to verify the connection, but you guys should not see this more than three to 10 seconds. Next up, you guys will see this, then just use Express Settings. You guys can customize it, but it just takes a little bit longer. It's not a humongous deal, but Express Settings is what I recommend. So that was that option right there. Now for most of these things, I am using the trackpad. It does make it a little bit easier. But of course, like I said, you guys can just all touch anywhere on the screen. Okay guys, for this step, you guys should have an email. If you guys don't have one, you guys can always create one. So that's option right there. I won't go through the whole thing about creating an account because that takes kind of long. But at this point, I highly, highly recommend creating an account if you guys don't already have one. After you type it in, just hit next and you're ready to go. You can always skip these steps, but I don't recommend it. It's always better just to put in your email right now. After that, you guys will see a please wait and then you guys will see this screen. Now we're just gonna hit next and set up your pin. So you guys can set up any pin you guys like. After you put in your pin, you guys will see this as well. So. We're just gonna have to hit next, right down here. It's just showing us showing us a few things. I do suggest doing this, so for sure, choose this option right here because it it's pretty useful and it's pretty fun to use this. Now you guys will see some options here. You do not have to choose them. You guys don't have to receive information from Acer. You don't have to participate in that, and you don't have to agree for Acer to transfer your email to for that antivirus, okay? So you don't have to do that, okay? You can just go next, or you guys can put a check mark on each one and select those guys. But I'm not going to, because I don't want that. I'm just gonna go next. We will see this screen next, and it's just gonna take a couple minutes. You're looking at from one to five minutes, depending on your internet speed. But for most of you, just a minute. All right, guys, you're pretty much done at this point. Just go to start to get started to see what's new. All right, guys, so you are done. That's the whole setup. All you guys have to do really right now is download any programs that you want and get started using your tablet right now. 
Now, like I said, everything's touchscreen. Plus, you can use your keyboard, your trackpad to move around. I do like using my trackpad because I'm so used to laptops. But you can always take this out and use this as a tablet, and that's no problem. You don't have to turn it off and turn it back on in order to use it as a tablet. You guys can always just take it out and use it as a tablet or attach it to your keyboard without having the problem of turning off and turning on. Okay, you guys will see a few updates coming up, and that's it. Anyways, this is your setup video. If you guys have any questions, comments, you can write them down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.